Hey guys and welcome back to another video. It's Snow here. Hello and welcome to the very first episode of Snow's show. So basically, in this show, we will be interviewing jammers and getting to know more about them. So our very first interviewee today is Rosie Star AJ. Now you guys might know her from Instagram as she has 14.9k followers and she's best known for her method of crystal clear selfies. Let's get talking to her. So, Rosie, first question is, how did you come up with the name Rosie Star AJ? Well, <laughs> my original username, that wasn't my original username. My original username was very ugly. Mm -hmm. um, it had a lot of numbers in it. And mm -hmm. it did have Rosie in it. So back when Animal Jam, you know, you send them your username um, suggestions, I guess, by email. Yeah. And I was really into Warrior. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So... I had like warrior role plays with my friend on like. Oh my Facebook. gosh, I love that. And I, I think I just came up with everyone already called me Rosie and I wanted to be like the clan leader. Mm -hmm. So I chose Star. Mm -hmm. So Rosie Star was one of the options on there. I think it was the first one. And oh. I'm glad that one got chosen yeah. because looking back, all the other ones were really awful too. <laughs> Yeah, I can definitely relate with that username change because mine used to be a bunch of numbers too. <laughs> Are you still into warrior books? Um, no. I didn't really get into the entire series, but I think everyone that has played Animal Jam at some point mm -hmm. has, I don't know, like associated with warriors. Okay, so that leads on to my second question. So how long have you been playing Animal Jam for? I have been playing Animal Jam since 2013, um, oh, wow. around the New Year's party. So not really the entire year, mm -hmm. um, but I've I think that's nine years now, maybe. Oh wow, yeah. So you're an OG. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, I'm about to go into college. I'm so playing oh, wow. Animal Jam. Oh my gosh, Animal Jam never gets old in my opinion. <laughs> Okay, and how did you come up with, I've seen like your method for crystal clear selfies, how did you come up with it? Well, I'm also in the, um, or I used to be in the anime editing community, mm -hmm. and in the anime editing community, um, the website that I use is really big for screenshots of shows, mm -hmm. so one day I decided to test it on Animal Jam, and I discovered that it had the same effect and as for zooming in it's actually a trick that i learned from some people back in 2017 mm -hmm. in the instagram community that some people may remember i actually learned it from focus mm -hmm. um back when i used to take selfies with him he would zoom in to like 500 <laughs> so i learned a little bit from him because he was always super picky with our selfies yeah so you're like i have to be picky too <laughs> Yeah. Okay, and what is one thing you wish Animal Jam HQ would add to the game? Um, at this point, anything. Anything <laughs> at all. Yeah. Just to keep it interesting? Yeah, because Classic is kind of going down a route, and I do pick a, on them a lot on my Instagram. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. As we can tell. I just kind of want you know new dens new animals mm -hmm. um especially just new uh, interface features mm -hmm. uh, like i think the last in-game interface feature was allowing um nobody to come into your den so i think it would be cool to have more features like that yeah no i totally agree that would, that would make it much more interesting plus i feel like you could become more creative right yeah, definitely. Okay. And so, what inspires you to keep going in the community and not just quit? Uh, <laughs> that's ironic because right now I'm on a little bit of like a not posting streak. <laughs> but what really keeps me in the community are the people. If there definitely was a smaller community and there weren't that many people around, I probably wouldn't have played it for as long as I have mm -hmm. but just fellow creators that I've met 
along the way and you know will do giveaways with me and stuff really keep me going because mm -hmm. I don't like disappearing and I don't know it just keeps me more interested yeah that's good yeah I think the people definitely um help in motivating you to stay and I think it's awesome what like what a little community can achieve okay um next question what are your main goals that you hope to achieve by posting your content um i just really hope to bring something different i and this isn't any shade whatsoever mm -hmm. but um i see a lot of the same thing in the animal gym community mm -hmm. uh you know like we everyone obviously takes pictures of their animal um and sometimes the games get a little repetitive Mm -hmm. So I always, when I'm about to post something, if I can, try to think of something that hasn't been done before. Like the little tutorial videos, mm -hmm. I know those already exist, but I just thought it'd be a little original to have something like that available on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So of course I'll have days where I post Animal Jam selfies, but if I can, I try to come up with something that hasn't been seen. That way people will feel, you know, more inclined to follow. Okay, um, what is one thing you wish the community had more of? I want a lot more of a mental health awareness in the community. I think that would be really good mm -hmm. um, because a lot of people in the community, including myself, sort of struggle from, you know, kind of going down into these slumps where we feel like we can't post or we get more attached to the numbers. So mm -hmm. I think that it would actually be really beneficial to have more of a, you know, checking up on people and seeing how they're doing mm -hmm. because I just have seen more in the recent years that mental health has become a really big part of Animal Jam. Mm -hmm. So do you think if like, for example, if Animal Jam released like a little survey to check up on how everyone was doing, that would be like the bare minimum, do you think? I think that it could be beneficial. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, favorite item in the game, if you have one. That's hard. For den items, I think, I mean, honestly, any nature den item, mm -hmm. but when I first joined Animal Jam, um, I really fell in love with gazelles a lot. Mm -hmm. And I remember when they first came back um, in the Eagle Adventure and before they hit stores. And I wanted some so, so bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I became one of those beggars that would be oh like, my God. please, I'll never get gazelles. And someone actually traded me green gazelles. Aww, so oh I gosh. just traded. I know, right? That's so nice. Yeah. So I traded up to the pink ones I wanted because I really wanted to um, copy Lilac Petal. I love that. <laughs> yeah. So I think gazelles are a special item to me. And I actually still have the pink gazelles from before they came into stores in my inventory oh wow so like i feel like do you like go back and look at it and you're like this is where like i started yeah know? like i have my original fox hat you know all my like cool uncle unrare items mm -hmm. <laughs> i love that okay and the last question is any advice for the people watching this video um, my advice to whoever is watching this video is if you want to go somewhere in the animal gym community, make sure that you start by doing the things that you really like because once you start getting followers, that will become your niche. So if you're really not interested in what you're posting, then you're going to get quickly burnt out and decide you don't like posting anymore. So always make sure that you're having fun with what you're making when you first start because then it will be really fun to post and see people's reactions. That's true. That's very helpful advice and I think everyone could learn from that. <laughs> okay, and that's the end of our interview. Thank you so much for letting me interview you and I hope it was fun for you. Um, yeah, but thanks so much for tuning in everyone. Have a safe day and let's all clap for rosie in the comments um but yeah thank you all so much for watching see you next time bye